Now I've clicked a button, so let's uh, hit the uh, introduction, unless you want to say something before that. Hit the bean. Hit the bean. Emphysema guy. I don't know what the hell's going over here. I suspect I have COVID, but I'm not sure. Oh, for cr- how many times have you had it now? Jeez Louise. No, I mean, I don't know. I just seemed to like started lining up with all the symptoms over the weekend. So I'm like, no. Oh. So that's why I went out and was among the people. That's right. No, no, <laughs> no I just been coughing. I've been coughing all day. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> you better get that checked Ooh. out. I think I'm just allergic to you bullshit. Mm, could be. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I am I sit here tonight. Broken hearted. Try to. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> try to fart. What was it called? Try uh, to. Shit, but only yeah, farted. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. It's like no, a little <laughs> sunburnt. <laughs> And uh, tired, very tired, um, because I was just, uh, my daughter just graduated from college and we went to commencement and it was outdoor commencement because of people like yourself coughing on everybody. Uh Uh-huh. So, yeah, I was- And now uh, she's a phoenix. She's a phoenix, so I want to applaud her for her- She's a phoenix. Agree with what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, that's all that online bullshit. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> she went to a, a reputable. No, I know. She went to a real school. I know. Okay. I'm just kidding. Not, not DeVry or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you whatever you started out with. <laughs> Cosmetology. I can't even say it. <laughs> uh, Cosmetology. Knowledge. Yeah. God damn it. So mm. it, she didn't even go to community college like I did. So yeah, um, yeah, so it's not being yeah. yeah, so we're very proud, and uh, but uh, that's not really what I want to talk about. Although that was uh, you know interesting and exciting in and of itself. Um, well, congratulations first of all to the Lament family. Yeah, yeah, another another degreed uh, Lament. Lament. Yes, we're we're almost gonna be a bat in a thousand soon. So, yeah, I know. Well, Ooh. we all have several. You know, well, actually, I have a degree, but my wife has several. And uh, anyway. oh, ha, ha, ha. oh, ha, ha, enchanté. Oh, the um, as she you know reminds me on a regular basis. Uh, <coughs> yeah. But uh, no, actually, this is about my wife. Interestingly enough, so. Yeah. So we we went to uh, you know to stay for the weekend for the commencement and everything and that and uh, what's that? <laughs> Nothing. What did you say? At the Sybaris. No, no. And oh, well, seemed, uh, no, you know. no, no. And so wait, did you stay at Noah's Ark? No, we didn't stay at Noah's Ark. That's in St. Louis. And. Oh. Um, it's gone too, by the way. Sorry. Oh shit. Yeah, it's long gone. So, um, she got uh, Airbnb because it's a little cheaper, I guess. But I'm not, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Airbnb. I'll be honest with you. We've used them several times. I've talked about this before. Yes. Um. So we're um in this Airbnb for a couple nights and. I don't know if you if you've watched the um, there's a show on HBO called The Staircase. Have you heard about this? Are you what are you doing? Are you drinking or what are you huffing or what the hell are you doing right now? Uh, just, yeah, I'm huffing shit. Sorry. Jeez, we got a spray. I'm celebrating 420 day again. Yeah. So okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll take a drink. You continue. I'm sorry. Go okay. So there's a show called The Staircase on HBO. Have you heard of it at all? Have you? No. Well, okay. Well, I'll give you the I'll give you the basic rundown on it. I've been watching something called the back door. 
What? No, I'm just kidding. I think you would like it, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, it's about this yeah. real life uh, case where this woman, this they're kind of you know somewhat well to do uh, people. His uh, his man is an author, and his wife is you know something, and they kind of have a nice house uh, in North Carolina, I think it is. And this is a real this is a real case, right? And so right. they've made a you know kind of HBO limited series out of it with uh, mm-hmm. Colin Firth. And um, yes. he's the man who's accused of uh, murdering his wife, and do, um, do. Uh, the woman who's uh, what's her? She's the United States of Terror. She had a show like uh, uh, Tony. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember her name. But anyway, so he's accused of killing his wife because she, you know, she. He says she fell down the staircase and hit her head, and then she ended up dying from her injuries. And, you know, people think it's kind of fishy and he was, you know, kind of, he was running for public office. There's a lot of weird stuff going on. And if, I don't want to give anything away if you know about it, but the whole idea is they kind of had this nice fancy house and it had this, um, you know, back staircase, like what would be like a servant staircase back in the olden days, which is kind of twisty right. and, and turned, you know, a real tight uh, staircase. Mm-hmm. And he says, well, she she must, he wasn't there. So he was there, but outside when it happened and came in and found her. But anyway, they, she fell down the staircase and hit her head a couple of times and, and died. Well, I think my wife's trying to mimic this guy. Oh, geez. Because we get this Airbnb and you know, I'm a fat slob with bad knees. And... I mean, I have to show you that I'll put this as the cover. I took a picture of the stairs that I had to climb in order to get up to this. It was on the third floor of this old house. And like the house was divided into like apartments, you know, first floor, second floor, third floor. So the third floor is, is this very small kind of one bedroom apartment like place that they've created up there. But you enter it from outside on these like wooden deck like stairs that go up 30 some feet. Wow. Yeah. And I'm hauling my fat ass up these, you know, wooden stairs, not concrete or anything. I'm talking like if, you know, your Uncle Ralph made your deck, those kind of stairs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so. <clears throat> I'm like, holy moly, I, you know, and you got, there's a couple of turns on it and, you know, you go up one set to get to the second floor. It has like a large deck and then you go up another set to get to the third floor and then there's a little deck and then you go into this apartment and it is kind of, it was really kind of an interesting place, but I mean, these stairs were just hell. And then, yeah, I'm carrying a suitcase. Actually, I'm carrying two suitcases. Can you, um, did you have to jump off the gazebo to get in the pool? Yeah, <laughs> no, there was no pool. Uh, oh, okay. But you could, I suppose, if you wanted. If there was a pool, you could have done this. But I'm like, and then it rains. <clears throat> yeah. So now they're, they're wooden slippery steps that I have to go up and down. Oh, this is, well, at least we're saving $5 a That's night. right, at least we're saving, yeah. We saved $25. <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, holy moly, this is such a killer. You know, my legs are killing me. And I'm like, oh, I, I got that. to go I'm down in the pouring rain. And she's like, well, look, they have these umbrellas. And I'm like, I'm not holding a fucking umbrella and try to traverse these stairs. I'm just going to get soaked. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it's like, you know, oh, these boards are warped. There was one board popped up you could trip on. I'm like, it was just... <laughs> I'm like, you're mimicking this staircase movie. You want me to fall down and crack my skull no, open. No. I, no. Why would, where would you get that idea? I go from the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. That's where I got that yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're a Mark man. <laughs> yeah. On the staircase show we've been watching on HBO. But um, it was, it, it really kind of, it was really old house. You know, uh, it was kind of interesting. But then, 
uh, in the bedroom, we got in the bedroom, had a king size bed, which is very nice. Uh, but so I lay down there and I look up and there's this like vent. Like if you were to, if you can imagine the, the roof comes to a peak and yeah. on the flat part, you know, not the peak, but the flat wall that's in between the peak is this giant ass vent that like I could fit through for the, for the ventilation. <laughs> So that's where the hidden uh, camera is. Yeah, that's what I was like. I'm like, what the hell is this place? And it's like got these wooden slats on it that look, you know, like homemade yeah. and everything. And I'm like, this is like Title's house with that crazy shower he has in his basement. That's like a <laughs> shell of a shower with all these holes yeah. in it and everything. I'm yeah, like, oh my god! So I couldn't sleep at all because I can't, if I, I I would wake up and I'd be like, is there somebody staring at me through this? Like, there, uh, literally, a person could sl- is like could slide down this this uh, you know uh, the uh, ductwork and be peering out. You know, like <laughs> I mean, you didn't even need to have stairs. a camera. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm like that was freaking me out. You know. Yeah. And then, of course, I don't know about you, but every, you know, I've been to several of these uh, all over the country. <laughs> and it's like, they're always kind of nice. I mean, we have got some that have been really nice. And then we get some that are, they look kind of nice. But then, like, I go to turn the shower on and the whole faucet and, and shower head, like, wiggle, like, freely. Oh, that's you know? Weird. And I'm like, yeah. am I, is this all going to come crumbling apart in my hands? <laughs> Well, then you have kind of a crappy one out of East. Uh, kind oh, of I did, yeah. Yeah, that, that horrible piece of crap. Yeah, that was the one where I could not um, use the toilet. In the, they had several, had two toilets. The one I couldn't use because I was too tall. Right. Because literally the toilet was like in a in a like alcove of a like a slant roof, and I literally I don't think I could even sit on the toilet with my head not smacking and scratching the top. So I wouldn't use the other toilet, but this, um, the uh, bathroom was very, it looked very nice, except when you turned on the shower, this, like the whole apparatus just wiggled, you know, like a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh yeah. shit, I'm going to break this and they're going to make me pay for it. And yeah. then, um, it's just these little cheap things. It's like they had a washer and dryer, which was very nice, a nice one. I mean, a very nice washer and dryer. But yeah, like next to it was the water heater for that floor, mm. and, but they just put up one of those louvered doors, so it's just one louvered door over <laughs> over the water heater. <laughs> oh my god! And like where the other louvered <laughs> door should go was the washer and dryer, mm. which is like that's odd, you know. Mm-hmm. And then the thing that <laughs> the thing that cracked me up. Uh, which you know, was, shouldn't be funny. So then it had the smallest toilet that I've ever seen. <laughs> you so, to take a dump. Yeah. So, you know, again, my knees, I have bad knees. And so you do. I, I go to take a crap on this toilet and literally my knees are up by my cheeks. And I mean, my, uh, all ones on my face. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, man. <clears throat> So then I go, I'm standing there before I do my business, and I'm thinking, am I going to be able to get up off this toilet? <laughs> no. Honey. Luckily, there was like a, I was the other thing is you're sitting right next to a window. <laughs> oh, yeah, I always like that. That's always fun. It had, you know, louvered blinds on it and everything. So luckily, the, the uh, uh, trim on the window I could get a hold of it and pull myself up because otherwise I think I would have been stuck on the <laughs> toilet. There's no way. Honey, wipe to... my butt. Wipe yeah, my butt. I'm like, I gotta, I can't. <laughs> now, again, it was very nice. I mean, it wasn't like cheap or anything, but I was like, holy moly, how am I, you know? Yeah. How so, did we come ahead on this deal? Man. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, this is the shortest this toilet's practically on the floor. You know what I mean? It's like, hold on. Yeah. Jeez. Well, I, I would be higher off the floor with a five gallon bucket, you know? What am I in? Vietnam? What is this? <laughs> exactly. It was like halfway between the hole in the floor and a toilet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that, 
Or where do they have that? Where like the toilet's actually in the floor? Where's that? India, 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 or something. Overseas, yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. The, the Paul. They have basically they just have a hole in the floor. Yeah, yeah. It, I'm like, uh, I'm like, this is. I go okay, okay. You know, I don't like to make a fuss. You know, <laughs> I can, I can. This is my pl- place to complain, but. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, you know, I lived. It was not that big a deal. It was really, you know, quite a nice place. But I'm like this staircase. This stair, I, and th- this is going to be so, the show art. Is this staircase was a monster staircase? So, so no uh, bad Yelp review or anything. Uh... No, overall, I think it was fine. I mean, I hate whenever you know things aren't solid, and I feel like I'm going to get in trouble for them. You know, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. it's like. I did not break this plumbing because I'm, you know, I, I'm i like an ape. I'm like the, the Samsonite ape in those old commercials yeah. where he throws the yeah. luggage around. That's yeah. that's me in everyday life, you know. I just kind of grab a hold of the... Like, You're like a big Boo Radley or something. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. People. I don't know my own strength. And mm-hmm. um, and I'm just like, yeah, this always makes me leery. I'm like, eh, I don't want to hear about this. So, but I mean, it wasn't right. terrible. But I couldn't sleep because of the vent kind of freaked me out. And then, uh, and yeah, then, yeah, I had a little trouble uh, with the facilities there, but uh, I made mm-hmm. use of them. But uh, I was like, God damn it, you know? It's yeah, like, I, I I felt like. This is what Shaq goes through on a daily basis. You know what I mean? Poor guy. Yeah, right. Yeah, you are Shaq. Well, in this situation, I was, but I mean, he, that's what I'm assuming these guys feel like. These basketball players are like, oh my God. This, this humunculus or whatever. You yeah, are. exactly. <laughs> so, but luckily, I did not slide down the stairs. Only luckily, my foot got caught a couple of times and I thought I was going to take a header, but it didn't happen. So. I, I survived. I survived. And then, um, you know, I made it through the bathroom, but it was just like, oh my God. You know, I long, I long for, you know, a holiday in or something. Any day. Yeah. I'll tell you, you what, know, man. Just, just so I can have like a, a regular sized toilet. Yeah, really. I mean, the tw- I'll pay the 25 bucks, please. I'll just, you know. Yeah. So. But uh, all in all, it was fine. You know, it was all fine. Mm-hmm. But I'm just, mm-hmm. I'm like, when we get there, I'm like, oh, it's fucking stairs. Mm-hmm. So, but I lived so far. Maybe next time I won't. But uh, <laughs> you're doing right. What's going on with you? Oh, uh, well, if I can get through the story, I don't know if I can or not. But here, uh, so what do you mean? Get I... through it. Yeah, I'm gonna get through it. I'm sorry, oh. I just, I'm having some like allergic thing or something here. But oh, okay. um, <laughs> my son and I went to like a kind of a mini Comic Con recently, and um, they had various guests there of various fame, if you will. Yeah, I know you sent me some pictures. Thank you. And there was, you know, uh, you know, a pretty good spread of people there. You know, I give them that, and. Uh, so of course you always want to you know go see the you know the big guys first, but then I don't know we just kind of decided we'd see like the uh, the uh, like sales people first, which is always you know everyone's always like hey come here buy my book about killing children it's really funny come here buy it I'm like nah, I, no no hey <laughs> was this John Wayne Gacy selling books? yeah I'm like oh I yeah I don't know if I want to do that thank you I don't you know. <laughs> Oh, come come to our booth. We we have weed and women that cut off guys' wieners and stuff. That's what we write about. And it's like, no. <laughs> no, I don't want to read about ween. You know, it's like, no, no. <clears throat> you know. So what's your book about? It's called Pirate's Booty. Yeah, yeah. And uh, there, it's funny because, like, uh, there's one – there's a group there's a group let's just say that always goes to these things and like i always tell my son like avoid these people don't talk to them <laughs> well they sign you'll be here for, or something you'll be here for like half an hour because they want to talk to you about you know johnny quest and whatever the hell oh, you, know, hey, like, oh, you, know, yeah. you know i don't want to hear about johnny quest for half an hour like fuck you know yeah and uh, so we're making the rounds you know all this weird you know stuff everyone's trying to pedal you know stuff like that and uh 
Yeah, I see. Uh, I saw in the picture you wore your favorite T-shirt. Again. Again. <laughs> which no one knows, by the way. But anyway, really, um, nobody knows that T-shirt. I no one know. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't oh, matter. Okay. So, Trust um, me, I'm local or something like that. Doesn't it say that? Uh, something, I don't know, yeah, something like that. From yeah. what about Bob? It said F the police or something, I think is what it said. But... <laughs> <clears throat> no. It said Funky Cole Medina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we go by this wrestling guy, and he's kind of got like a wrestling mask on. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, he goes, yeah, yeah, I know a lot of these guys. I met them. I met them. I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I go, yeah. I think one of my <clears throat> one of my favorites is probably Hulk Hogan. I guess the guy flips me the bird like almost to my face. Really? Huh. You know, F Hulk Hogan. He's a piece of ass. Ass. You know. You love well. You like Hulk Hogan. That's a weird statement, anyway. So. Like I immediately insulted someone within about you know thirty <laughs> seconds of getting like into the venue. You know, it's like oh. <laughs> right. You know. <laughs> You know how I like to do, you know, influence people. Yeah, you're like an that. influencer. That's what they call you. <clears throat> and uh, we uh, were making our way out, and my son met a gentleman from Mortal Kombat, and he was really Mortal tough to do. Mortal Kombat, cool. the newer one or the old one? I, you know, I don't follow Mortal Kombat, so uh, I don't really. Johnny I don't Cage. <clears throat> the guy was pretty cool, though. And then uh, I go, well, across the way is another building, and that's where, you know, the, the talent is, right? You know? Oh, that's where you saw your, <laughs> got your autograph. So I did get, um, I got Chad uh, Coleman from uh, The Walking Dead as Tyrese. Yes. I was trying and to I... play some guy. I don't watch the show, but. Uh... <clears throat> oh, I thought you guys were watching it for a while. Uh, my wife, we watched it for. I think like six. How many seasons are there? Oh, uh, I don't know, ten or eleven. Yeah, well, maybe the first five or six, <laughs> and then that kind of gave yeah. up. So yeah. What freaked me out? I mean, he's a very nice guy. You know, just very friendly and nice and that. But I go, wow. He goes, what? He goes, I'm like, you are so little. <laughs> I go when they no when they show you on the Walking Dead you look like this giant dude like you're nine feet tall and you right, yeah you know he goes yeah I know it's camera angles I'm like yeah no kidding wow because he's about as tall as I am I'm about probably about six you know right I mean we're fairly close in height but I was just so like taken back I'm like wow the you know the hilarious thing is yeah you went to film school you stupid idiot you know how I know do. I know I'm like wow <laughs> they know what they're doing those guys I'm really like, know. Although I, I learned about that, but I forgot yeah. about all of it. I don't know. Yeah, I was just like, so, you know, I'm being a, you know, a total fanboy, you know, all that. I go, man, Tyrese. is Tyrese his ultimate? And, you know, Walking Dead is so good, and Tyrese was just like the star, you know, uh, and all this. Yeah. And he goes, really? I go, yeah. He goes, wow, you're the first person to tell me that. <laughs> I'm like, bullshit, come on. Well, come on! Now you're being funny. All right, you know, ha ha. Yeah, sorry. You know. Was he serious? I thought it was kind of funny. Huh? Was he serious? No, come on! Oh, okay. Come, give me a break with this. Come on, no. Oh, okay. Give me a break. I thought maybe you're just yeah, being yeah. your usual over ingratiating <laughs> self, trying to get a free lunch out of the guy or something. I oh, I did want a lock of his hair, but he just turned that down. <laughs> I need two things from you today. I need three, uh, three eyelashes. <laughs> okay. Your cell phone number and an autograph. And a naked picture of your sister. Oh, He's yeah. like, I'm not that. giving you eyelashes, but here's the rest. Yeah. I'm going to give you an ass beating. That's what I'm going to give you. <laughs> I, went, oh, I did not have the balls to ask because he had, like, some weird, like, freak out in the subway like after he, he got killed off on walking dead like he started like yelling on the subway it's like on tmz somewhere you know, oh really just, like yelling his, yeah i don't know what it was i was he, about he, he pulled just, a robert downey jr huh yeah i didn't have the the balls to ask him what that was about i wanted to so bad i'm like no this dude's too cool i'm not gonna do it <laughs> no, no, no. Well, after you pissed off Nacho Libre or whatever, I mean, you know, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I know. The wrestling dude flicked me off right in my face. Like, oh, you, man. 
And uh, then we saw uh, Eileen, Eileen uh, Dietz. Mm-hmm. I don't know who she is. I saw the picture. Well, but... She was the demon from The Exorcist. The original one? Yeah. Hmm. They were kind of shadowy figures, but then like this little demon face pops out for yeah. just a second. Hmm. <clears throat> That's her. Figure. And then uh, she was in the... Uh, huh? How interesting. She was in a so she was in the short-lived uh, Planet of the Apes TV series from nineteen. Oh, I, I love that! I used to have a. She's uh, like nobody watched it, so I, it got canceled. I uh, I love that show. I watched it, and I used to have a cup with Galen on it, and Galen, Ga- no. Galen was was Roddy McDowell played Galen, who was the character that took over for uh, I, yeah uh, Cornelius. Which yeah. Roddy McDowell played Cornelius, but in the TV show he played a character called Galen. Galen. And I had a Galen, That's what I used to Galen call, cup. Uh, I used to call Smidge in college. I used to call him Galen. Oh, really? Why. It have a different connotation was, other than being an ape? I don't know. He was just kind of a monkey-looking dude. You know? oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I used called, to love you know, that show. I was so disappointed. Yeah. Well, I so mean, was she, I think. She's yeah. like, oh, I, I, I had that... Um, and there was a Logan, a short-lived Logan's Run series that uh, happened, and I was very d- disappointed when it finished. missed that. Yeah, yeah. missed that. No. Yeah, there was a show called Ar- Arc not- Two that I watched on Saturday mornings. No. And, no. Yeah. And uh, what? Oh, so are like, hey, uh, you know, we'll spend an extra two dollars. Let's get a picture. You know, it's like, okay, yeah. Really? Was it only two dollars? <laughs> No, come on. Okay. So we go up there, and uh, she's like, well, stand. Like, I wasn't even listening. She's like, well, stand over there so they can kind of see, like, the sign behind us so they can kind of figure out who I am. You know, like, what? <laughs> what? Stand, stand over there by your son. So I'm like, <laughs> what? Stand. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know she's if I'm like, going that day or what. Like, like, is there a busload of these people here, or is he just the yeah. only one? <laughs> yeah, happy ever after in the market. And, um, Stand in the place where you live. <laughs> now, I hadn't realized that the guy uh, who took the picture, he actually took several pictures. I didn't realize that, right? Uh-huh. So I'm like, well, let me look, see what's good. And I only saw the first one. I'm like, oh, you blinked. <laughs> yeah. Goes, oh, she goes, I'll retake it, but I want you to delete the one where I'm blinking. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I hit delete. And the guy's like, well, I already took like four or five pictures. I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize that. Right. <laughs> and on the way, well, on the way home, my son's like, dad, you realize you could go in your trash file and just get that picture back if you wanted to, <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. I'm the most, I don't even know how things work. How am I supposed yeah, to know? It's the blind leading the blind. Like, I, okay, if you delete wait, it, it's gone forever, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went to film school. I didn't realize that with, with different camera angles, you can make people look <clears throat> bigger. I know. I know. I know. It was a long day. Okay. It was a long day. Forgot I've tomorrow. forgotten everything. Mm. Thank goodness that I still know how to control my bowels. I know what a cucalorius is. I know. Yeah. Do you know what a cucalorius is, uh, Tyrese? Yeah. And uh, then I, be- uh, I believe she showed up on Fridays to make the crew happy. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. Then there was one more thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, there was one more thing. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you cut me off. There. No, no, I didn't. Cut you <laughs> so, off. <laughs> we talked. We talked to a guy that uh, was actually in the the reboot of uh, Star Trek. Uh, Which one? Briefly. There's a bar scene kind of early on in the movie where there's kind of a fight there. And there's this kind of character dude that has like this really long face sitting at the bar. I've got the death sentence on three systems. No, come on. Come on. Come on. (laughs) Come on. Don't laugh with me now, man. Mm. I'm going to delete your photos, bastard. Okay. And, uh... No, we talked to him for a little bit, but he's like, yeah, you know, whatever. You know, okay. like, All right, well. Yeah, I had this one spot. That's <clears throat> yeah, no, I mean, he's done a lot of stuff, but I don't know. He wasn't. I I don't know. I, he was all. He was what? You, I lost you. 
Now I can't hear you. I'm going to have to call you back. Let's see what happens here. Miles was talking and he just disappeared. Now we'll call him back because we gotta we got to hear what happens with this Star Trek guy. Holy moly. Yeah, I didn't cut you off. What happened? And now the exciting conclusion <laughs> of Miles and Son go to a Comic-Con. And now the rest of the story. And now the last piece, and I shouldn't say this but because I'm a little bit of a hypocrite, but there's a dude that was... Uh, he sells like serial killer stuff, I guess, like books and stuff mm -hmm. that he writes. Yeah. And, and uh, which is fine, you know, because, uh, you know, I don't know. I, it's like a car wreck. You don't want to look at that stuff, but yet, you know, you're kind of in a <laughs> weird way drawn to I'm it. I'm drawn you know? to it. I can't help it. But I don't know. The one, the one part where both my, my, my son and I felt a little fuzzy is like there's this, like a serial killer card game that's like playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh, but okay. Or uh, I don't know what else, what Pokemon, magic or whatever. Pokemon or magic. Okay, Pokemon. Man. Yeah, like these guys that like point, you know, kill points or oh, something. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm like that seems a little. I don't know. Turn making it, into it a game. making it into more of a kids game is what you're saying. Yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know if a kid. Yeah, yes and no. I don't know. I was just like, mm, I. Mm, I don't know. So that made you uncomfortable. Yeah. Or yeah. was or what made you uncomfortable is you were one of the victim cards. Yeah, I know. I'm like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. that's what you should do. You should talk to that guy since you've seen him more than once. You should say. Hey, can I be one of the victims or one of the low low point guys? Yeah. yeah. No, and I shouldn't say because I am. You know, I mean, I have a you know serial killers item as well in my house. Like so really. Yes, you have a uh, you have a Doctor Kevorkian letter, I believe. I, I well, I have that, but I have a sword. Actually, oh, I know. You through. always talk about this sword. And yeah. uh, when my parents go, I'm definitely going to eBay this thing. Hundred percent going to eBay it. But, yeah. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. I mean, I mean, God bless. I don't know. I just, it felt a little weird. God you know? bless the serial killers. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say about that. That's a little weird. But then again, yeah, it's your whole story started out weird because you said I really like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulkamania brothers running rampant. And <laughs> hey, brother. Fuck you, brother. <laughs> this guy's probably like, what are you, like a 12-year-old or something? Hulk Hogan, come on. He's my man crush. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he thought.